Hi guys, Nexia here from Greedy Dragon Brewery. Thanks for coming out and watching another one of my videos. Um, if you like what you see, please subscribe or share the video with your friends. Um, and please leave a comment. I'd love to hear your feedback. Helps me improve my videos, um, learn what I can focus more on, and it get, gives me an opportunity to be able to discuss with you or talk with you. And maybe I get to see what um, you have on your YouTube channel and subscribe and learn a little bit from you. So. Anyways, um, today I'm going to continue my series uh, for the beginning brewer. Um, as you know, when you first start out brewing, for some of you guys it may have been a long time ago, and for some of you, you might just be looking at getting into the home brewing industry, and I just about got attacked by a bumblebee. I'm not going to cut that out because it's cool. Um, anyways, you go into a brew store, um, and you just kind of get bombarded by hey, you know, you need to buy this equipment, oh, don't buy that, buy this, and you kind of get upsold, uh, upsold on everything, whether it's from your fermenters to, um, you know, just starting out into all grain, or um, you go on a forum, this is a very similar type of thing, you got people that have fantastic rigs for home brewing, and that's really cool, and it's great that they got there, um, but a lot of times it, it takes time to go from A to B, right? You go out, you start small, and, and a lot of these guys that have these fancy rigs, you know, they started with the basic kits and they slowly but surely added um, to their systems. You know, I'm kind of somewhere in between. There's a lot of things that I'd like to add, um, but I just don't quite have the finances to be there yet. Um, so I plan out a little bit at a time. And um, I like to do things, I guess, as inexpensively as possible with the best possible results. So today I'm going to show you um, a little invention that I came up with one day at work um, when I first started out home brewing and I was trying to tackle the question of you know how do I cap my beer bottles I'm a beer traditionalist I um, didn't want to start out in the PET bottles which are, are great for some people um, I personally like to stay away from plastic as much as I can I, I have plastic primary fermenters um, I have glass carboy, um, but you know, for my beers, I like my beers in a bottle. Um, and that presents its own set of challenges because now you have a nice bottle. Um, how do you cap it? And there are some cappers on the market. Um, in my region, a, a traditional bench capper is, is pushing about $40. Um, and you can get wing cappers here for $20 and up you know maybe twenty six dollars or so uh, you can buy them online but you buy them online you got the shipping and stuff um, also the other question when I first started out home brewing was I didn't know for sure if this was gonna be the right thing for me you know I love beer and I've always loved craft beer um, I always wanted to get into home brewing and home wine making um, but you know it's one of those things that you gotta try it first and and get your feet wet and decide is this really what I want to do um, or is this something that maybe I want to do with friends or is this something that I'd rather have professionals do you know there's nothing wrong with just drinking a good beer um, so anyways one day when I was at work I was trying to figure out how am I gonna cap my beers um, and do it as inexpensively as possible um, you know life with a family and small kids um, Sometimes you don't have the extra resources to go out and, and buy the extras like beer making. Um, so I'm going to show you my homemade contraption uh, for bottling beer using resources that are very easily obtained and using a piece of equipment that you may already have within your own garage. So I'm going to cut out and we'll cut back to my beer capper. Alright, and here is my super deluxe bottle capper. Now, as you can see, this is a traditional drill press, um, which many of you probably have in your shops. I usually have this in my brew area slash shop, um, but I brought it upstairs just for uh, display purposes, obviously. Now, what got me thinking about this while I was sitting at work was trying to figure out, well, what are the mechanics of bottle capping? Well, essentially, you have the capping process itself, the cap, um, and then you have lever action. Well, 
When I started thinking about it, well, what do I have at home that already has lever action? I have a drill press. So it's got its up and down action, or lever action, which you can apply pressure to. Um, and then it's got the up and down mechanism already in place. So it's firmly attached, um, you know, and it's already got all the mechanical system there. Um, on the bottom here, you know, fancy schmancy, um, I put underlay um, that you'd normally put underneath, say, a laminate flooring, um, just to provide a little bit of cushion. And of course, I put some underlay just to protect the countertop at the moment. Um, and let's take a look. The attachment that I made. So I made my own implement or uh, tool uh, for capping beer bottles. Uh, it's fairly straightforward. Um, you've got one and a half inch pipe. Um, so it's one and a half outer diameter and uh, one and two eighths inner diameter. Um, so you know, if we can give it a little bit of scale there. And then on top of it has a one and a half inch piece of round bar um, steel. Uh, which is half inch wide. So that was just welded together. Um, so that's a capped pipe um, and round bar steel. So this piece fits right up here within my machine. Um, you secure it into place and then we cap some bottles. So I'm going to do that for you and uh, we'll see this in action. Alright, so we got the drill all set up, we have the tool that I made and I just showed you how, or told you how, we're going to insert it into the drill press, we're going to tighten it up, get a little, get an extra tighten for good measure, now you can see we've got all the lever action required. A bottle of beer. So, I don't have, a, like I said previously, I don't have a batch going right now or ready to bottle. Um, but I filled this beer bottle full of water just to demonstrate uh, the bottle capper. capper. Um, I particularly like these bottles. This is from Tree Brewing in Kelowna, British Columbia. Um, if you're from Canada, fantastic beer. Um, even nicer bottle. Um, it's just the nice flip cap, dark color, um, very comfortable to hold. It's a really nice bottle. Um, so I particularly like to go to the liquor store, um, treat myself to a good craft beer, and I keep the bottles for myself. Um, so, as you can see, you take your bottled beer, um, you've got your bottle caps, which, you know, if you're on a proper brew day, You'd have these soaking in star sand to be properly sanitized. Spray down your equipment with star sand as well. Align it in place. Give it a little pull. And there you go. You've got a nicely capped beer with a perfect seal. Let's try it again. Again, another tree brew. Pour it down. A little bit of pressure. A little wiggle. And you've got a cat beer. So, as I began the video, um, you know, it's very easy for you to go out and spend a lot of money on home brewing, but a lot of times you can improvise and come up with a great design uh, that works and suits your needs. I've seen some fantastic equipment out there for anything from how to create mash tons to uh, wart chillers and so forth and maybe we'll explore some of those options. Um, this is another example of that. Um, just sitting there thinking about uh, the process that's involved, a little bit of the mechanics and you can do something in a matter of dollars, um, sometimes from the convenience of your home or from work um, that can cost you $20 or $30 and $20 saved 
here is another batch of beer or you know more money in your pocket right so anyways thank you for coming out i hope you enjoyed this edition of greedy dragon brewing um for new brewers i want you to keep keep at it um get a couple batches under your belt so that you feel comfortable with what you're doing don't break your budget um, going out and buying all the fanciest equipment until you feel comfortable doing that um, and for all you uh, senior brewers take a new brewer under your wing if they subscribe to your channel or if they're on a forum and they're looking for advice don't shun them away because you were a new brewer at one time um, and it's amazing what you can learn from each other um, so anyways thanks for coming out guys uh, this is Nexia Come on over, pull up a chair, have a beer with me. 3D Dragon Brewing, signing out. Cheers.